What's going on everybody, Waffles here, and uh, I am here with another Cinema 4D tutorial. This tutorial will be on adding 3D text into Minecraft. Now, you can't do this in the game, but you can do it by using a program called Cinema 4D. If you do not have Cinema 4D, then bad luck, but if you do, then I'm here to help. So let's get into this. First thing you're going to want to do is open up Minecraft and take a few screenshots. Now I'm not actually going to do this because I already have some screenshots. You can install the shaders mod which would make everything look a lot prettier. And uh, I suggest that, I recommend that even. But uh, it is not necessary. So I have already taken some screenshots. Now if you don't know how to access your screenshots once you've taken them, just go into your search here, or if you're on Windows 7, go down here and search uh, for percentage app data percentage. Hit enter and you will have this .minecraft folder. Now open up your .minecraft folder, open up your screenshots folder, and you will have all your screenshots. Now you're going to want to drag these to maybe your desktop or wherever you please, but I have already done that, so... Yeah, I don't need to do it again. I already have uh, screenshots. So let's get into Cinema 4D now. Uh, the first thing you're going to do when you open up Cinema 4D is change your resolution here to 1280 by 720. If you like Full HD, then you can set this to 1920 by 1080, but the render time will be increased by quite a bit, I'm just saying, so you might not want to do that. Next, go into your save, change the format to PNG, and add an alpha channel. If you do not add an alpha channel, I don't know what will happen, it will be kind of glitchy and the PNG file will not look nice. It might not even, it might not even be able to render it like that, but uh, you can try it if you want. Uh, next, choose where you want your image to be rendered out to. I'm just gonna choose this and call it maybe test. Uh, I'll save that. So next add some effects. So effect, ambient occlusion, effect, global illumination. Go into global illumination, go into sampling, go into turn samples to low, go into a radiance cache, and change the record density to low. Next, go into your anti-aliasing and put this to best, if you have a good computer, because if you do not, then it will have some trouble rendering this, so you might want to make sure you have a good computer. If not, just leave it to geometry and you should be okay. This won't look as good. So next thing you're going to want to do is add a background. Now you do that by hold clicking on this floor button here and clicking on background. Now, once you have your background, you're going to want to create a material. You do this by double clicking down here or doing create new material. So open up your material and uh, go into color, untick specular, color, texture. Click this little arrow here, load image. Now find your Minecraft uh, screenshot and choose that. You can click no for this, but then go into the sampling, still under color, go into the sampling here, and put this to none. That will just make your image sharper, and not, I don't know, fuzzy, blurry, whatever. I don't know why I said fuzzy. I guess I just like fuzzy things. Um, that may have sounded weird. But never mind. So next thing we're going to want to do is uh, add a floor here that can cast shadows. Because this image, if you put text on here, it won't cast shadows. Because it's a background, it's not actually um, a, like a, a world. So let's go into the hold click on this cube here. Add a plane. Drop this down to the same height as the ground and rotate it so that it looks like it could be sitting on the ground. This plane should be looking like it's sitting on the ground. 
So next thing you're going to want to do is add some text. So go into MoGraph, Mo Text. So now you have this ugly looking text thing. Um, but if you render this out, you will still notice that everything is black, and that is because global illumination requires lights. So go into your light bulb, hold click on this, and add an infinite light. You will see a kind of white line here. This line is the direction your infinite light is facing, so rotate it to face your text and rotate it, I don't know, kind of like a sun would be shining on the text or whatever. I don't really know, but whatever you feel like. Now, uh, if you render this, you can see that it looks better, but this plane here is ugly and it's not nice. So we should remove it from the render without actually removing the shadows that it casts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our texture here and drag it onto our plane. Go to our, click on our texture here next to plane and change the projection type to frontal. Next, right click on your plane, Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and ch turn on Compositing Background. Now you will notice that the plane is gone and you can just see the shadows that these letters cast. But those aren't big enough shadows, I want like full shadows. So go into your light, shadow, and change your shadow type to retraced hard. And your density may be to 60. Sure, let's try 60. Now if you render this out, you'll be like, whoa, look at this. It's dodgy. Yeah, you can see the shadows cut off here because the plane actually doesn't, isn't big enough to uh, hold them all. But if you uh, click on your plane here, and under size, you just set this to 600, then you should be good. And move your plane back a little bit. There you go. Now if you render this, look at that. It's beautiful. So that is how to add text into Cinema 4D. You can watch my text tutorial if you want to make this text look nicer because this is hideous. But never mind. Uh, this is the end of this tutorial. Please like if you enjoyed the video or if it, or, uh, or if it helped you at all. Uh, I hope it helped you. If it didn't, then I'm very sorry. But um, yeah, so I hope it helped and I will see you later everyone. Please subscribe and goodbye. Let me call my girl. Back to the wild world.